the, the guys in New York who did a chokehold mm-hmm. on that guy and killed him. Right. If you can't have four big, burly cops hold a guy down mm-hmm. without having to use lethal force, mm-hmm. then you are not properly trained, or if you were properly trained, you didn't remember, and you have no business on that job. Well, maybe they were out of That's shape. No-brainer. Maybe they were out of shape. Well, if they were out of shape, then it's their supervisor's fault. <laughs> right. They're not making sure. <laughs> right. No, I'm being facetious. <laughs> you know, they, 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 I mean, some of these guys, I mean, here in Chicago, mm-hmm. I did a calculation once, and I figured that the Chicago Police Department mm-hmm. was something like 25 tons overweight. <laughs> Bad well, cop, no more donuts. <laughs> Take a look at some of these guys. Yeah, no, I know. You see their gut. You know, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And, I mean, I have had police commanders, mm-hmm. you know, they, they, they'd they see me walking to or from wherever I'm going, or in some cases running, mm-hmm. and they've said to me afterwards, Pat, I wish half my men were like you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Because take a 55-year-old guy mm-hmm. who's about 100 pounds overweight, and he's got to chase after some 15-year-old gangbanger. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's going to get a heart attack. No. Oh. And the gangbanger is going to get away. So they need to melt some lard. They need to melt some lard. <laughs> the fire department is in better shape. No, oh, okay. Because they they have an exercise room, mm-hmm. and the nature of their job is such. Right. You're constantly running, running up and down. Room. Public policy question is, should police departments encourage healthy eating and regular exercise? Uh, this, there's the Beat Cops Guide to Chicago Eats. I don't know if there are any vegetarian restaurants there or salad bars and, of course, a pri- fat loss primer. Uh, of course, this cop looks like he'd lose some. Um, then there's uh, vegetarians and, of course, I don't know what these guys are eating. Looks like also a, a rent-a-cop. And, of course, there's a fireman who has his beef with, with meat. Uh, There is uh, people who recommend you should eat those veggies and more of them. And, of course, here is a fire department uh, kitchen, and it looks like a lot of good things these guys are preparing. They look pretty healthy. This is research by Peter Paul Brazola's educational video on Amicus Veritas Broadcasting and the new shadow Amicus Veritas on Blog Talk. In Part 3, we'll have tracers and some of the things you may not know but should know.